Due to increased chances of COVID-19 contamination during intubation, San Diego County EMS has released new protocol and guidelines related to intubation, one of them being con to consider placing a cloth covering or other drape over the patient's face during resuscitation. Dr. Brad Schwartz also states that, although approved, the specifics regarding what you put over the patient's face has not really been clarified yet. So there's been different methods uh, brought to the forefront. One of the methods is what we're trying out now, which we call the disposable shower cap method. The disposable shower cap method is quick and easy. First thing you want to do is open the box. Go ahead and pull the shower cap out and fully open it so you can get a good look at the entire shower cap, make sure there's no holes in it, that it's intact. The next thing you want to do is you want to find the center point of the shower cap. Mark it with your finger. Bring that over to the tube that you've placed and place it over the distal end of the tube and push down on the plastic so it's nice and tight. Once you've done that, go ahead and take a, something disposable and pop a hole through that. You're going to throw that piece away because it has entered the tube, uh, so you want to make sure it's disposable. Go ahead and put the plastic down around the tube, and after that, connect your BVM. That automatically locks the plastic into the area. It won't come off now. It's completely uh, attached to the BVM and the tube. Go ahead after that and take the cap and stretch it over the patient's face and begin ventilating. You'll notice that the elastic of the shower cap creates a decent seal around the patient's face. Make sure that you extend it all the way around the patient's chin to lock it in and make sure it doesn't move. If you're concerned about the shower cap moving, you can take some transport tape and tape it down to the patient's face. The good news is that shower cap isn't going anywhere because it's held in place by the BVM and the distal end of the tube. So it's not going to fly off if it gets windy or if you're moving. We looked at the pros and cons of this setup and the pros are, first of all, it's really easy to deploy and it's very quick. Uh, easy to store, those packages are very small, fit easily in an airway bag. Uh, the whole thing is disposable, very inexpensive, they're less than 10 cents each. And uh, you can use it with different types of equipment and different brands of equipment. Also, it's clear and it looks medical in nature, so it's not as jarring as, say, a trash bag or some other material that you put over a patient's face. Currently, the only con that we can find is that it has not yet been field tested. So it's not battle tested yet, uh, but we're hoping to get it out there and have people start evaluating it right away. If you have any further questions, you can contact us at the Benita Fire Department. The training division is A Division, and you can reach us at 619-479-2346 or my email, jcrimston at benitafd.org. We do have a vendor that currently has these in stock. They're approximately $25 for $500. Uh, give us a call and we can point you in the right direction. Have a good day.